these regular nut drivers but i have all kinds of sets you know that of re interchangeable ones so i gotta get one of get my set i guess yeah i'll just get that set yeah i get my quarter inch ratchet set it has nut drivers and everything in it nothing here is going to need anything bigger than a quarter inch drive so and i guess we'll set you in the chair because a man on his feet's worth two on a seat anyway uh-oh now i dropped it there it is <clears throat> only thing is it has a magnet that's strong enough to hold the driver in there well, most of the time not always but it's not strong enough to hold the screw so you have to be really careful not sure which one there we go it is american people this is american screws pleasure to work on i do have a metric in that thing though and it'd be bad if you drop these when you're putting it back together because you, you'd have to pull the drum out probably to well you might find them i have dropped them and found them before i have dropped them usually it's when you're putting it back together and you're really tired and if you drop them on the disc the same way, then that's no big deal. Well, it could be. They can hide down there, but probably you'll just be able to get it later. But uh, this little thing, oh, it does have to come out. This is a little plastic thing that stops the drum from going too far forward. But what it really rides on is the felt that's in the door thingy. I dropped that before. Okay. And I'm going to take that screw out because that looks like a good thing to cut the living crap out of me when I start trying to get this out of there. Probably been in the way anyway. This top bar stays. And uh, let's see. There's screws in the bottom. I think there's not any screws in the bottom on this. Worked on the washer quite a bit too, and they're they're you know they're different. They're, well, the washer's a Maytag. <sighs> but uh, I'll tell you what, we've looked at new ones several times, and they have such horrible reviews and such quick failure rates. We just keep on fixing these as long as we can. Okay. Uh, not sure. Oh, I think opening the door helps. can't really remember All that, uh, yeah there we go there's a clip in there too and I think it fell yeah it fell out when I did that did it break it no I think it just fell out so the door don't need to be open after all but you do need the, uh, the switch wires took it off. Okay, I don't, well, it could matter. I don't know that it really does, but we have a blue one on bottom and a gray one on top. So, of course, I'd have to go watch the video to, I, I don't think it makes any difference on this switch. Usually it does it on a switch, AC or DC, one on one side, one on the other. There we go. <gasps> Whoa! That other one just basically fell off. Oh no, it's alright. I saw, is that what's going on here? I, I messed with the switch and I tested that, you know, and it was working. But that's all there is to that one there. That's alright. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Trying to, oh, it's not going to matter. I was going to, the, the, the main latch is locked, deadbolt on the door. I, I didn't want to, kind of didn't want the, somebody to forget and grab that door open. But uh, I've got it leaning against the door.
Got some kind of piece of broken plastic. Okay, now, oh yeah. You have to get the belt loose off the motor. And, uh, I think I'll just spin it around. It's easier to get to with it spun around. Let's see if I can get a broom after some of that. I don't want to get down in that, as filthy as it is. I'm going to sweep it over in the corner. There's actually a... See if I can pick it up. Yep, I dropped a straw from my... Oh, it's from my rust buster. When I was spraying it on the bearing the last time I was out here. I guess, I think it was the last time. Anyway, I just... I'm going to put it in behind the corner there because I don't want to get into it right now. And then hopefully I'll remember to move the trash can and clean it up. Some of it just went in front. I don't have a very good plan here. Okay, let's see. That needs to go somewhere towards not in my way. Uh, through the legs, around the corner. There we go. Now it's all over my mic cable. Nice. And my broom don't want to go back. Okay. This thing. Same size. Okay. Same size. Where is it? It's over here. I think maybe I can just lean. Oh no, I can't. It's too far down for me. And my chair that I'd like to be able to use is over yonder. It's hard for me to get down and get back up. I never do stuff like everything's tender. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I might need the second screwdriver. I 
don't remember. It's not. I know it's not real hard getting this off, but it's not easy either. I'm tempted to tilt it way up. How yeah, hard that would be to. Well, no, the drummer lot will try to fall out. Okay, so give me yourself a little more room here. Well, I kept doing it until I was about 55, I think. At least as much as I could. Didn't. 35. Because of my health, I wasn't. Couldn't keep working all the time. Anyway, stop whining. Okay. <sighs> I just always feel like I have to explain why everything's so hard, but what's the difference? Okay, I don't think the drum will come out that close. Yeah. Uh, where's my... Here's my tape right here. Okay. Yeah, I think it might just make it... If I go a little closer to that... Yeah, there we go. That is, I know I've gotten it out. Well, of course, there's maybe more stuff there than there used to be. There's the trick. Once you get the belt off, lift the drum with the belt. Get it out the front. And there you go. And I guess I'll just take... The belt off because it's when I put the new bearing kit on it I have a new belt yeah okay I think I'll put this back up Let's put that over there where all the other parts are how's my Oh yeah, it's it's supposed to be like a trailer hitch ball, but it's all flat on that surface now. That's for me and my U joint strap holder, drum carrier. Let's see. There we go. It did okay as long as you could keep it greased, but it didn't stay greased all that long. I still haven't found that clip. I haven't looked for it yet.
Yep, it's broke. Sure is. And it welded itself to the... Oh, there's pieces of it everywhere. So evidently, I don't know if it breaking caused... Let's get the camera and I'll show you. I don't know if it breaking. So those tests were right. They they, brought, they told me that it's broke. So I was. I guess I was doing them right. <clears throat> and no, I'm not going to put it all back together broken. Somebody, if we need to, if we really have to wash and dry something, then uh, we'll have to hang it on the line over here. Then we got a heater out here to keep the pipes from freezing. Water pipes and the washer and the drain, the water pump and all that. That will have to be what? Uh, I can't even think to say the right words. But Anyway, I'm going to bring this thing. Down a little more. And uh, well, I'm on the wrong side of that. Let's see if we can straighten that out. Got the cable to my mic. If I keep on twisting it around stuff, I'll end up without enough cable to get anywhere. And make sure those legs are spread out enough. Now let's put it over. trying to think there's stuff in the way on the ground I can't uh, set it exactly where I kind of want to I guess I'll move them. I have to move them then just gonna have to do that okay yeah yeah it's just all yeah now let's try letting this down I think that might be enough right there Time to be. Okay. I don't know how well you can see it, but uh, there's a picture of it right there. And just, just tack well. Doesn't overheat it, but it. It broke right here, and the pieces from here to here is gone. So the pieces uh, went everywhere, and I imagine it uh, first. I don't see a bunch of burn marks though, but I was thinking that it first uh, may you know it might have broke by. I think it just wore out and broke, and it didn't. Like sag, I've seen them where they'll sag and touch the ground, and but you'll see welded barks. Yeah, I was thinking if it was a small break, if it was broke, you know, when I was thinking about it, that I might uh, put it back together. But th it's completely, I think it's completely ruined. I mean, I could disconnect on around and around and around and stretch it and put it over here, but as much work as that is to get this thing apart and everything. That, that's what's bad about doing quick fixes is you end up using them for a long time and struggling along and end up maybe doing other damages and stuff to you, whatever it is you're working on. I've done it with lots of different things over the years, but, uh, and I've, like I said, the, okay, I'm gonna bring the camera down to show that, let's see. Well, I think I'll just drop it down where it can get closer. Yeah, far, about right there. No, not that far, right there. There. Now this is, yeah, I'm not gonna try to, I mean, I could, no, I won't try to zoom in. I always wanna try to zoom, but I know how crappy it is. Okay, <clears throat> so, um, put my gloves on now just to keep my hands out of that nastiness. <laughs> There's that grease. Uh, I was kind of wanting to show you the thing I made before 
Well, I'm not going to take it out right now, but I will take it out. But uh, I don't even remember exactly how I did it. But uh, I see pieces of that broken heat helmet in there. <coughs> so that's why I didn't want to turn. It was getting worse about not wanting to turn, and I sprayed it with... There's a piece of it that was in there. That's in my homemade... <laughs> Oh, it broke. I'll be dang. <coughs> the, uh, that's amazing. Wow. Okay, that is a, uh, I'll have to get, when I get, I'll get it out at some point here, and I'll show it in the, in the video. Maybe I'll get it out here in a minute. But it wore on that uh, U-joint cap from my 76 Chevy Blazer. I had an old bent U-joint cap from where U-joints broke and bent them up, and I bought a new cap. And then that's a that's a U-joint strap. That's wh that's why I, it held it, you know, that's how, and a piece of angle iron. And then it screwed through the back and bolted through the back. And I just had that that uh, hitch ball on the drum there sitting in it. And uh, I, try, I thought, well, if I keep it greased, it should do all right. For Well, I was only really planning on leaving it until I got my new bearing kit. But it kept working, and it'd make noise once in a while, and I'd put grease in it. And I didn't feel good enough to do all this. It's real, the real reason I left it for a year or more. But that's why it's acting different and making uh, spraying it didn't make it quit making noise. Now, I don't believe that had a thing to do with the heat element breaking. I'm, as far as I know, that's the original heating element to the dryer from, you know, when it was manufactured in 1993. But, uh, uh, that thing is completely gone. That's, I can't believe it. I mean, that, well, it's about, looks like it's about 3 sixteenths thick steel. Pretty tough steel, you know, for, to hold a drive shaft in a four-wheel drive vehicle. And, uh. Not an eighth, it's more than an eighth. Three sixteenths, I'm going to say. But it wore it until it wore it all the way through. And it wore it on the side. Drum turns that way. Yeah, it does. It wore it on the side that it would go to, but the rolling motion would pull it over into that side. So it kind of dug it. I could see how it dug it down into it. And down there, if you can see it, is my wheel. And it rattles a lot, but it's all still greased up. I need to grease it up real good. I'm not taking it out because it stops when everything gets when the when the, when your bearing up here gets worn and it starts going wanting to go that way. Uh, when the drum starts wanting to go that way, and that's what happened to the original uh, hitch. I can't really show it, uh, where it is back over there, but it would go that way, and it was rubbing. Oh, uh, there was something there that it was actually digging into the. The ball, the tra I'm calling it baby trailer hitch ball. Um, uh, what else could I call it? I don't know. Anyway, it, it uh, but when I put that wheel in there, see, I was able to reach down in there and install that wheel somehow. I think I did it through that hole or something. Yeah, uh, I didn't know how to. I didn't have this out because I couldn't figure out how to get it out. And this was 15 years ago, maybe even more, before there was any of all this great how-to stuff, how to do appliances on the internet. And uh, I couldn't figure it out. And you see how simple it is once you know how. But I tried everything, and I it probably might have had a little bit to do with how worn out the uh, saddle was for the. That's what I could call. I made a saddle out of. <laughs> but the the, the one uh, the, they you know the one you buy when you the one that they put it in originally, it's plastic, so it wears really quick once the once the. Um, well, all it is is plastic. It's a plastic bushing, and and you put the grease in it. Uh, it's pretty good grease, I would say, because like the one I put in, this will be the third one when this one gets put in. Uh, since we, you know, since we've had this, my mom got it in early '90s or '95, somewhere around in there, a little later maybe. Anyway, they, the one I put in lasted 11 years. The other one. Well, it's 2021, so that's around the same amount of time. Well, but 